It's very stressful, isn't it, living in the... Uh, living in the city. I mean, around here, our main worry as sort of middle-aged parents is, uh, is schools, the schools thing. You know, there's uh, one school around here that everyone's uh, trying to get their kids in. People do anything, you know, to get into the good schools. They'll fake their address to be in a particular um, catchment area. People uh, check the distance to schools with pedometers from their homes. People bribe crows to fly by more direct routes. <laughs> schools that have done particularly well in the Ofsted results. There was even a thing where some of the young mums were actually disguising themselves as schoolgirls as their own daughters so they could go and sit the exams to get into the good posh girls schools. Amazing. A friend of mine, uh, Ian, he's a, he's a single parent but he wanted to give his, uh, his daughter the best possible chance. Um, now she's in care and he's on the sex offenders register. <laughs> It is very stressful, the schools thing. You know? I mean, for, for example, there's, there's one school around us everyone's trying to get the, the kids into, the one good school. And I didn't know, just one of the other dads told me about this at, um, at Playgroup. The way you actually get your kids on the, uh, on the list for that school is that your, your wife has to sleep with the chairman of the governors there. <laughs> I know, I don't think it's right, but uh, <laughs> what can you do? You know, what can you do? It's their, it's their future, isn't it? So, uh, <laughs> well, I drove around to uh, his house and uh, the guy came out and he was very businesslike about it, you know. And then I, I went back later and I, I picked her up and we've tried not to talk about it, you know. <laughs> I suppose it's all right. <laughs> I don't think there was any need to film it and upload it to the web. 